什么。Yes. Are you locked up? Yes. Hey guys, it's me Beckett. I'm here at Faraday Studios, and I'm gonna prank the wits and the wizard. The first one we're gonna do is we're gonna put clear fingernail polish on a bar of soap so that it's insoluble. So when you wash your hands, no soap comes off. Stole this nail polish from my mom's closet, painted on, and this takes a while to dry. So we're gonna do it first so it dries while we're doing the other ones. So insoluble means that like it doesn't dissolve in water. So something that would dissolve in water would be soluble, but if it doesn't, it's insoluble. So we're gonna put the shell of nail polish on the outside so it becomes insoluble. Because if you think about it, nail polish isn't soluble because it doesn't dissolve in water. So if you wash your hands with nail polish on, it just stays on. I can't wait to see somebody try and wash their hands in this and it just doesn't work at all. It's gonna be hilarious. So now we're gonna let this dry. Let's go to the next prank. I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, we're gonna do our second prank now. This one's a little bit uh, crueler than the last one. We're gonna take some water, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some powder from a mac and cheese box, and it's gonna look just like orange juice. We're gonna leave this in the fridge. Whoever tries it, they're gonna be expecting orange juice, and they're gonna get salty cheese water. So if we think about it, people use their senses to tell what stuff is, you know, scent, taste, touch. This is gonna fool people's eyes, but it's definitely not gonna fool their taste. We're probably gonna to top this off before we put it in the fridge too, so it looks just like this one. We got him. For our last prank, we're gonna use this 3D scanned image we found on the internet of somebody's face, and we're gonna put it in a pickle jar with some food coloring, so it looks like a head. We're gonna leave this for the wizard, and when he finds it tomorrow, he's gonna to be scared as heck. And I'm gonna add some little bits like pork rinds, maybe some bacon in there, so it looks like brains. And it's gonna look just like a head. All we gotta do is leave it here, and he'll find it tomorrow. He's gonna be so scared, it's not even gonna be funny. It's gonna be really funny. So funny. Real quick before we go, we gotta set the soap up. First person that comes to the bathroom and uses it, it's not gonna work at all. In the comments, you guys are gonna have to let me know how this goes, because I'm not gonna be here on April Fool's. Oh, there's already some soap in here. We better take this with us so they don't use it. All right, guys, I better get out of here before the wizard gets back. He's gonna have a fun day on April Fool's. Hey. Ooh. Uh-oh, something's on the desk. Let's see what I've got over here. To Wizard 4, I see it, it's for me. Yeah, like I'm gonna open this thing. Are you guys hiding up there? There is something in there, what is this? Oh, good Lord. What in the, one human head? There's a human head in there. Oh my gosh. Everybody should have a human head in a jar, don't you think? I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I know what I'm gonna do with it. I've got some wits coming here later this afternoon. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Just for a second, they had me. A human head in a jar. They made a brain out of cauliflower and it looks like miscellaneous body parts out of pork rinds. Oh, and they photocopied their face on the copy machine. Look at that, that looks good though. What in the world? The soap's not working. I tried to wash my hands with it and like nothing happened. What is it now? The, the soap, soap's not the soap, working. The soap's not working? Yeah. Have you used soap before? Yes. Show me what you did. This is kind of ridiculous. The soap doesn't work. So I got my hands wet. Got your and hands I put, wet. I put the water yeah. on, and then I went like this. Yes. And you see nothing. What the heck? Nothing at all. Just water. Fake soap? Yep. What dirty prankster would do something like that? You. Oh, really? Yes. You think I would do it? You look that? dirty. Yes, I think you would. Well, I, I, I mean, I did not do it. Does this feel like a bar of soap to you? Yes, but there's like a coating on it. It feels a bit different, like harder. Somebody pranked us. They put it, obviously they put a coating on there. When yes. you look closely, you can kind of see that there's a oh, coating yeah, on there, Oh yeah, I see right? that now. Yeah, you can see the brush strokes. Have you ever heard the word uh, soluble? Yes. What does soluble mean? It means that something can dissolve. That's right. Soap is normally 
soluble. Soluble, because you get some water on it, it's yes. a little bit dissolves, you get it on your hand. This is no longer soluble, is it? No, it's not, it's insoluble. Oh, you got it. New words, soluble, insoluble. And somebody's gonna pay. Because when they prank the wizard, what happens to wits when they prank the wizard? The wizard has to have his revenge. Revenge is so sweet. I wonder, I wonder how, I wonder who did it. You got pranked, didn't you? Yeah, okay. for sure. Look in the camera right over there, say. Say, revenge will be mine. Revenge will be mine. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do something about this. Yeah, you noticed I had a jar of orange juice in the refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a little, little science activity. You, do. you know, there's an old thing about if your nose is plugged up, you can't taste things as well. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. How your nose and your taste buds are connected connected somehow you know how sensitive they are well what i was going to do today i see you know, i've got my hands on my orange juice bottle that i had over there you know pulp and no pulp mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna pour pour some in the glass i'll get some too see if you can tell without looking at the label if it's pulp or no pulp so you shut your eyes and i'm gonna pour some in i'll pour some for myself if it's pulp or no pulp that is the question Oh my Lord. That doesn't taste right. That does not taste right at all. What is this? That's nasty. Yeah. What the hell? That is orange juice, isn't it? There isn't such a thing as fake orange juice. Or is there? Did this go bad? Oh Lord. They're used by what? 1894? That's five months, uh, two months from now. Yeah. Ooh, that is gross. That. I hate, oh, it got, mm, I'm gonna get rid of that. That is nasty. Did you do this? No, if it was me, then I wouldn't have drunk it. Oh, that's gross. That's getting worse. <clears throat> we're just gonna think like a scientist for a minute. Then we're gonna go get revenge. We're gonna find out which one of my punk wits did this. See, if I was a chemist, or a scientist, which I am, if I went, first thing I'd do, I'd, I'd see if this was an acid, because you know, orange juice is an acid, right? Mm -hmm. I could put some litmus paper in there and I could test the acid. Smell that real good. Just get, it's up there. I think it's, do you ever recognize that smell? Either <clears throat> it's some bad cheese or somebody put their toes in there. Which do you think it is? Probably bad cheese. But there's no little bits in there. Look at that. There are absolutely no bits. You ever seen orange juice like that, really? No. No. Even the pulp was no. no, that's all smooth. See, that's all smooth. There's no little bits, pulp or no pulp. And look at there, it's not settling, is it? No. Nah. Not like real orange juice. Yeah, see, a, a scientist would see that. We got April Fool, didn't we? Mm -hmm. There's one thing you never want to do in this world, son, mm -hmm. is get a w wizard after your tail. Mm -mm. That'd be horrible. It's horrible. So uh, I'm not angry, but boy, it's going to be sweet revenge. We're going to find out who did it. You just, you just follow us. You stay with us. We're going to, we're going to get them. I'm sitting here with another wit trainee. Her name is Irene. Hi. Irene. Well, I thought we'd do a little life science today. And you know, scientists use all kinds of tools. And here's a little tool that the doctor gave me a while back when I was in the hospital. I said, could I have that? And he said, sure. It's kind of neat. And I, we just showed you how it works. You put your finger in there, right? Uh -huh. And then it tells you how fast your heart's beating. So I want you to put your finger in there. So I'm gonna show you something and I'm just gonna see if it changes your heartbeat. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. There, it's a big bag spider. It's plastic. Oh. Yours went down to 80. <laughs> well, you are one cool sister, let me tell you. Okay, that didn't work. But I didn't know what I was gonna do, so we're just testing. That's why we're testing equipment. This is a sack of eyeballs. Does it look like eyeballs? Those are real eyeballs. Yuck. Did they get squashed or something? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you are, you are a level-headed girl. Spiders, nothing. Bag of eyeballs, nothing. Well, I'm, it's, it's kind of gruesome. Should be disposed of. I picked it up. It, it, they have a, a medical school, mm -hmm. like cadavers. You know what cadavers are? No. Well, it's a cadaver is when somebody passes away, they'll give their body to, me, to medical science so the doctors can practice doing things. Are you ready? Uh-huh. It's a head, human head. Looks pretty fake. Nothing. <laughs> Those are brains. Those that's a human head, and there's the brains on the backside. See there in the fan. Wow. The brain. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes science works, sometimes it doesn't. She stumped me. 
So that kind of sums up our April Fool's agenda. We had quite a few neat activities. So thanks for joining us at Midnight Science Club. Look in the camera. Say, my name is? My name is Irene. Yeah. And Jake is wonderful. Um, yeah, Jake is wonderful. There you go. That's all you got to say. And everything's happy when that happens. You know, <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, if you would like to have watch more of these great science activities. If you would like to watch more of these great science activities. Look for Midnight Science Club. Look for Midnight Science Club. On YouTube. On YouTube. Uh, tater Tot. What? I don't know where it's on. TikTok, that's what it oh, is. Oh, TikTok. TikTok. Instagram. Instagram. What else? Or are they, you know more than I do. I don't know what they're um, uh, Facebook. 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 Patreon. And Patreon. Don't forget to check out our MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> MySpace? What is that? <laughs> what is that?